On today's video, we're going to load and shoot a muzzle loader. Hey there outdoor YouTubers. Well, like I said earlier, in today's video, we're going to load and we're going to shoot a muzzle loader. And we're gonna get into the specifics of the setup that I use for my CVA Wolf 50 caliber muzzle loader. And I'm also gonna go through a few of the things that I like to do before and after I shoot the muzzle loader to make sure it works properly and shoots accurately. Well, the first thing I'd like to go over is some of the muzzle loader basics. Because if we understand how a muzzle loader works, that's going to help us to keep it clean and shooting properly. The main thing about a muzzle loader is that it is loaded from the muzzle, which is basically the end of the barrel. Now, when you're loading these modern muzzle loaders, the first thing that goes in is the propellant, which is a powder or a pellet. The propellant that I use are these 777 50 grain pellets. I use two 50 grain pellets to make a 100 grain propellant load. With many of the newer muzzle loaders, you can use a magnum load, which is generally accepted as going with three 50 grain pellets for a 150 grain propellant load. But for the distances that I shoot, a 100 grain load is just fine. So I drop my two pellets down the barrel, and then the next thing that you put in there is the bullet. I use these 245 grain hollow point bullets. Now remember, my muzzle loader is a 50 caliber. So I'm using 50 caliber bullets, and I'm using 50 caliber pellets. Now, the bullet doesn't just drop down the barrel like the pellets do. The bullet fits very snug. In fact, it's what you might call a forced fit. The bullet is designed to fit really snug, so then when it's shot out of the barrel, the rifling in the barrel puts a spin on the bullet, and this makes the bullet shoot straighter. So the bullet will need to be pushed down the barrel with some amount of force. You want that bullet and the pellets below it to sit nice and tight down at the bottom of the barrel. You can start the bullet with your fingers. Then to get the bullet a little bit further down the barrel, it's good to use a bullet starter, which is just essentially a smaller, shorter ramrod. Then to get the bullet all the way down the barrel, you'll want to use your ramrod. It's important to know how far down your ramrod will go when the pellets and the bullets are properly seated in the bottom of the barrel. For my CVA Wolf, with two 50 grain 777 pellets and the power belt 245 grain bullets, my ramrod just about bottoms out, but not quite. And I always want to repeat that every time I load this muzzle loader. So when my ramrod goes down this far, I know I'm loaded properly for the equipment that I'm using. The next thing you need to do is to install the primer. This is the ignition source for the muzzle loader. My CVA Wolf muzzle loader uses a 209 primer. These brake action muzzle loaders make it really easy to get that primer into place. At this point, this muzzle loader is considered fully loaded. Close up that brake action and we can get ready to take a shot. The hammer mechanism drives a firing pin into the 209 primer. This causes a small explosion which is directed through a small hole in the breech plug. This ignites the pellets and the explosion from these pellets forces the bullet down the barrel of the muzzle loader. 
One of the most common causes of a misfire with a muzzle loader is when that small hole in the breech plug gets blocked with soot or corrosion. With these brake action muzzle loaders, it's real easy to visually inspect the breech plug hole and make sure it's free and clear. One way to help keep this breech plug hole free and clear is to fire off one or two primers with the rest of the gun unloaded. The small explosion from the primer can push out any contaminants in that breech plug hole. Another thing that I sometimes like to do is just take one of those uh, cans of compressed air and blow air through that breech plug hole too. I always like to check that breech plug hole every time before I load the muzzle loader. After each shot, it's a good idea to run a damp cleaning patch down the barrel. This cleans out leftover particles from the previous shot, and this helps to add consistency to your shots, and it also helps to make loading the bullets a lot easier. Now, this video is not a substitution for reading the manual supplied with your muzzle loader. And it's also a great idea to watch some of the videos from the manufacturer of the muzzle loader that you have. After I'm done shooting for the day, I like to remove the breech plug and clean it up with some solvent and a wire brush. A smaller wire brush works really good in that socket that the primer sits in too. Then I'll use that canned air to blow off all the solvent and then I'll apply a small amount of oil to keep the breech plug from corroding. Next, you're gonna to wanna to clean the barrel of your muzzle loader. First, it's good to run some muzzle loader solvent on a patch through the barrel of your gun. Then run a wire brush back and forth several times, and then run some more patches with solvent on them until the patches start coming out clean. Then run a few dry patches through it to remove the solvent. And then run an oil soaked patch through there to keep the inside of the barrel from corroding. Now, be sure not to use an excessive amount of oil in the barrel or the breech plug. Depending on how you store your muzzle loader, you could have oil pooling up in that breech plug hole and that could cause a misfire. And then before you reinstall the breech plug, make sure you have a good amount of breech plug grease on the threads. Muzzle loader powder and pellets are very corrosive and they can cause the threads on the breech plug to seize up with the threads on the barrel. Okay guys, a quick recap. Before you load the muzzle loader, fire off one or two primers to clear out the breech plug hole. You can also use some canned air to blow out any debris that might be in that breech plug hole too. And after you do this, make sure and visually inspect that hole and make sure it's clear. Load the pellets. Load the bullet. And then you can load the primer. And you're ready to shoot. After each shot, run a damp patch down the barrel. and keep checking that breech plug hole to make sure it's clear. When you're done shooting, make sure to clean up the barrel and the breech plug. Now, if you're interested in a little bit more information on the CVA Wolf, I did do kind of an unboxing video. And if you wanna check that out, I'll leave a link below in the description of this video. Now, if you enjoyed the content, be sure to like and subscribe, all right? It's completely free. And also, remember to hunt fish, laugh, repeat. This is Dave Knetter from Knetter's Practical Outdoors. Hey, thanks for watching and God bless.